Hello everyone, this is NUC05 and welcome to the Cobra Command Central Toy Reviews. Today we'll be looking at the 25th anniversary G.I. Joe action figures on the Snow Serpents. Three of these figures here, the Snow Serpents here, came from the Internet Exclusive Pack, the Arctic Assault Squad Extreme Conditions Pack that came with seven figures, which include three of these Snow Serpents, two Arctic Vipers, and the Arctic Scrap Iron, which I already reviewed, you can check out in my channel. And the far right here is the movie release G.I. Joe Rise of Cobra Snow Serpent. Now, each of these figures are basically the same scope, same design scope for the single carded 25th anniversary Snow Serpent. Now, let's take a look at the file cards. Here we have the Snow Serpent Trooper, which is a Polar Combat Specialist. Military specialty will be Infantry. The Snow Serpent Officer, the Polar Assault Officer. Military specialty is also Infantry. And the Polar Heavy Weapons Specialist. Military specialty will be Anti-Armor Weapons. Very interesting. Well, let's take a look at the normal uh, snow serpent. Each of the figure comes with a base stand. You've got a nice Cobra logo here and a peg to hold your figure. Now, the snow serpents are my favorite. They make really good uh, troop building, army building for your Arctic army. It's basically the same as the single card uh, figure. Let's take a look at his accessories. Each of these snow serpents came with a main weapon. And this would be a, I would believe would be an AKS-74U, but I could be wrong. It still looks a whole lot to an AK-47 without the wood stock at the back. Now, as you can see, this is shorter because I snip off this uh, tin stock, arm stock at the back because when I first bought it and took it out from the pack it's, I guess it stayed in the pack way too long and it bent a lot and when you try to pull it on the figure it bent even further so it wasn't very sturdy because it was supported by this very tin plastic so it bent a lot, so I have to cut it off. And it looks much more better after I cut it off. And I also painted it. It's supposed to be in light grey. So I painted it in black. It also came with a missile launcher or a mortar launcher. More like a missile launcher. Where you can, where you can uh, place it like so. So like so, uh, it's also a very. It's, it, it, when you try to place it on the uh, on a solid floor or, or whatsoever, it tends to fall because it's quite flimsy, and this part always pops off. So it's all right, but it's a bit tad annoying. You see, there's a hole at the side here where you're supposed to put it on the peg of the backpack here, so you can hold the missile launcher like so other accessory would be the snowshoes you can see that uh, the peg here is to put straight to the figure's feet and there's a hole here so you can basically put it at the base stand as you notice none of the snow serpents are wearing the snowshoes because when you try to put it on, the, on their feet they don't stay very well. They tend to fall off by their own because when you try to place it like so, as you can see, there's not much of spacing, and you are only the figure is only supported by this smaller pack here, so it tends to fall off quite often. So the bottom of the figure has two holes for the pegs. Comes with. A backpack which when you reverse it it's hollowed 
and as original color it would be dark blue it also comes with this accessory well, I believe it would be parachute why would a snow serpent need one is beyond me you can actually easily put it out just pop off the head and this piece here this fur piece here when you pop off the head you get, it's a separate piece so pop off the head remove the fur piece and you can pop off the entire parachute now articulation wise the head is a bit hindered due to you can turn 360 degrees but it's a bit hindered because of the fur on the neck and the shoulder arms can turn 360 degrees but also hindered by the fur itself and can bend the elbow like so but this is as much as it can bend and turn the wrist 360 degrees you can turn the torso 360 degrees but it's hindered by the solar parachute strap and bend the legs like so spread them far apart double jointed knee but it's like having no double jointed knee at all it's like it makes no difference having a double jointed knee you can pivot the ankle downward a little bit and up and I yeah you can't pivot the ankle upward because the huge uh, boots here the sculpt is absolutely amazing goggles are transparent plastic <clears throat> but it can't be removed so it's a bit disappointing and you can't actually tilt it down to have it wear the goggle so that's a bit more disappointing as well articulation wise is a bit hindered on the lower arms due to this oversized arm here the fur other than that it's actually not bad looking for for this figure the other is the repainted normal cobra, uh, normal cobra snow serpent. So the, the fur here is actually brown and the goggle is yellow. And the face mask is blue. Very nice. Oh, and the boots and the parachute is painted in a dark, very dark brown colors. Same accessories as the normal snow serp serpent. This here is the what, heavy weapon specialist comes with a shotgun I do not understand why would a heavy weapon specialist would be carrying a shotgun it does carry a backpack full of missiles which is can be removable and you can place it into this bazooka this grenade launcher the rest of the accessories is the same uh, snowshoes but it doesn't come with a missile launcher but I really love I really love the backpack, and you can actually store the missile uh, the bazooka at the back here to hang it here. They're very nice. The next figure we'll be looking at is the Rise of Cobra Snow Serpent. Now the biggest problem with this with this snow serpent is because this base stand here that that's not very supportive for the 25th anniversary snow serpent because the pegs are a bit too small so it keeps falling off back and forth basically it's just the same design except it has a really nice camo scheme uh, the same backpack and a missile launcher and an ice pick very nice and a laser rifle wrapped in wrappings basically the same laser rifle from the ice viper so there you have it that's all the snow serpents i have if i have to give a rating of this i really love the snow serpents so i'll give it a 7 out of 10. it makes a really good uh arctic army building so if you want to collect them collect a the whole bunch of them they make a really good collection now this is the end of the review thank you all for watching this is new c05 signing off